Hi, thank you for joining me on this brief video. It's a video about Irish surnames. If you look through the arch behind me, you'll see framed in the distance a tower house. A tower house is a castle. That particular castle that you can see is a castle of the McCarthy Lords of Muscari. And what you're now looking at is Blarney Castle, built by the same McCarthy Lords, even though the famous Blarney Stone, sadly, is a 19th century myth. I want to talk to you about Irish surnames. Briefly, how do surnames and genealogy connect? Many people of Irish descent will be lucky to trace their direct ancestors as far back as maybe 1800 AD. Many ancestral researchers want more than this and ask the question, where do I go from here? The answer is twofold. Historical surname research and white chromosome DNA research. Your surname is the oldest family heirloom you possess. Surnames came into use in Ireland over 1,000 years ago and have largely remained unchanged since. Indeed, the Irish invented surnames. In other words, and in the majority of cases, your Irish surname preserves the name of your direct ancient ancestor. Most Irish families were arranged into clans which owned very specific lands and castles and had owned these for many hundreds of years. Some clans were powerful, some were minor service clans. But most surnames can be identified with particular places and, remarkably, even to the present day, most Irish surnames will still be found in are near the area of their ancestral lands. So for instance, one still finds most O'Sullivans in Cork and Kerry, most Cavanaghs in Wexford, and most O'Donnells in Donegal. Unfortunately, the standard of historical research into Irish surnames has been poor, and much work remains to be done to fill out these histories. I bring the specialist skills of an academic in medieval history to bear on these problems offering a unique research service which will be of interest to both amateur family tree researchers, surname DNA researchers and clan associations. DNA surname studies produce scientific evidence of genetic connections or lack of them between people bearing the same surnames. This research is virtually useless however unless interpreted in tandem with historical studies the same surname, which help interpret the scientific results and make sense of them. I offer such a service. I also offer my services as a speaker on surname history at clan gatherings and conferences. So if you're a clan organizer, tired of knowing little of value about the early history of your surname, I can help. To put it plainly, for anybody out there who wants to uncover the full story of their surname, you should talk to me.